There's a change coming to the way you'll see us forecast the track of hurricanes this season. It involves the forecast cone you hear us talk about so often. It's officially called the cone of uncertainty, but better forecast could mean actually less uncertainty this season. But if again, if it follows this exact track, and again, you can't, and we can't just look at this, you have to look at the entire cone, but say the cone of uncertainty. It is one of the National Hurricane Center's most visible products, and we are no stranger to seeing it over the New Orleans area. While this product has been available for decades, it was designed to show the projected path of the center of the storm. Now we are seeing more of the storm stay in the cone, and that is some great news. The forecast cone is created by taking the previous five years of forecast errors and drawing it out to show around two-thirds of inaccuracy. You know, that cone is, is completely a statistical analysis of, of the error associated with, with a hurricane. Two-thirds of the time, your hurricane is going to be in that cone. One-third of the time, most people think it's right along the middle line. It's actually outside the cone. Fortunately, the skill of forecasting storm tracks has become better over the last 10 years. Thanks to new high-definition satellites, updated Hurricane Hunter reconnaissance flights, drones, better computer model guidance, and research. Due to this better forecast accuracy, the National Hurricane Center forecasters are now able to draw a narrower cone. According to Ken, the better we get, the smaller the cone. Ken also wanted to remind us that a third of the time, storms can still fall outside of the cone. Plus, the forecast cone only shows you where the center is likely to track and not the potential impacts it may contain. He said one of the more difficult things to forecast is the intensity of the storm and the small scale features that occur, like we saw in Hurricane Harvey in 2017, and made the correct forecast track, but rapidly intensified into a category four before landfall. We still struggle with the intensity, you know, it, whether it's rapid intensification or um, in, intensity in, in general. We're shaving knots off, so to speak, but it's, it's a slower process. This process is definitely going in the right direction with their improved forecasts, we can only hope that this cone of uncertainty doesn't get placed over Louisiana this season, but if it does, know that the forecasters are more certain of the storm's destination. Our Eye on Hurricane Special continues next, but first, a look at what the five hurricane categories mean and the damage they can bring.